Pregnant Lady Training at Fit Club. 40 weeks. Welcome everybody. And first off, congratulations if you are pregnant. Huge accomplishment. Super proud of you. Now, I've only had a couple pregnant ladies that have trained for me from the very beginning. So from week one, all the way to their 36, 39th. And in this video's case, Kelsey went 40 weeks and one day. Now we made this video, so we're going to splice her in a little bit later, but Kelsey and I made this video on a Monday because I said, Kelsey is 40 weeks and she wasn't ready. She's like, I wish you would have told me I would have prepared better, blah, 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 blah. But I said, Kelsey, this baby's coming. We need to do this video today. And guess what? The very next day she had her baby. Congratulations, Kelsey. Now to me, this is true inspiration and it's also bragging rights because a lot of people go through injuries, they have fatigue, you know, they have personal issues that they deal with. Now imagine being pregnant. These to me are the extreme of body changes and hormone changes that usually cause a lot of people to back out and lay down. But my wife, Neri and Kelsey, are two amazing women that went from week one all the way into the weeks that they actually gave birth. So to me, that's a huge accomplishment and it's inspiration for me that anything is possible. So in this video, I wanna give you my advice from working with pregnant ladies over the years. And then at the end of this video, Kelsey's gonna give you her advice being 40 weeks pregnant. So number one is that you need to find out if there are any restrictions with the doctor. You could have an elevated blood pressure or elevated heart rate or whatever it is, but just make sure that you go and get cleared from the doctor and then have that open discussion with me or with your coach so that they can have clear guidelines of how they can train you, push you, modify, whatever it is that you need. Now, we always got to understand that there's always a beginner level for any type of exercise that we do. So for instance, if you normally were doing box jumps, then we can obviously lower the box or we can get rid of the box entirely. Just understand that there's always something that a good trainer and a good coach will do with you at the level to where you are. And then as a coach, my recommendation to you is to let them try. And then if they need modifications, you just watch them and you can provide a modifications for them. The good thing about Kelsey and Neri is that they've been training with us for so long that they know a wide variety of different exercises that feels good to them, but also gets their body moving. And so that's one thing that we have to understand is that you don't absolutely have to have bed rest unless that's what your doctor told you. These women that have been working out with us, they've been continuously working out. They haven't had any breaks. And so all they had to do is instead of like ramping up their training, they kept the training at where their level was at for as long as they could. And then they started to modify and just decrease the things that they weren't able to do or what they didn't feel was good for their body. So I always let them try and then the modify. And then you as a coach, I would recommend that you give them space. So give them space, let them do their own thing. It might be something completely different. Like, you know, towards the end of it, Kelsey wasn't doing any of the ground stretches. She was doing standing stretches. And there was exercises like sit-ups that she just wasn't able to do into the like 25th week and on. Hanging leg raises, you know, it was just impossible for, for her to do that. So she just did her own modified version. And that's okay. Because to me, something is always better than nothing. So up next, we're going to hear from Kelsey, who is 40 weeks pregnant. Ladies, listen up, pay attention. Kelsey, take it away. So when I first found out I was pregnant, uh, one of my first thoughts was, do I still get to go to the gym? I was really worried. Uh, it had become a major routine and structure and part of my day, and I wanted to maintain that. So I went to a physiotherapist and also a pelvic floor specialist and talked with my doctor, and they all gave me the green light and the okay to carry on and work out, but I had to be conscious of a few things. So earlier on, there wasn't a ton of modifications that I had to make. Uh, but as time progressed, I had to continue to pay attention to my core, my use of core, and I knew what modifications would have to come into play as uh, my body would be changing and shifting. So some of the things that I knew I had to change, uh, RJ was already on top of and he would help me with or he'd give me suggestions for. Um, and then some of the things I would just pay attention to my body and sort of tune into like what I was capable of, what I wasn't, and then modify accordingly. 
uh, with RJ's suggestions as I went. So if you're already in a routine, that's amazing. Uh, carry on, keep doing all that you can do. Up until I was about 37 weeks, I was still squatting an 80 pound kettlebell. Doesn't mean you need to do that. Uh, but what you were able to do before, you're likely to carry on doing now if you wanna push yourself with thought and consideration, uh, but just keeping and being aware and in tune with what your body needs and where it's going. And uh, you can continue to really uh, push yourself. I'm 40 weeks and I'm still working out at Play Club. So ladies, embrace this incredible journey of pregnancy. We're honored, I'm honored to have you training at Fit Club until the 40th week or whatever it takes with open communication, expert modifications, a supportive environment. We ensure that your experience is both safe and empowering. So every day that you spend with us, we cherish it as a blessing and we're dedicated to helping you live a healthy and happy life and bringing that baby ripped, jacked at Fit Club. We celebrate and support all of our members pregnant or not, and we recognize the unique needs and aspirations that make their fitness journey extraordinary.